so now we are going to look at the exercises together okay so our first exercise will be okay writing compound sentences worksheet so over here is explained to you a compound sentence is composed of at least two independent clauses so it means that it's we need to join two sentences to make it one sentence okay so directions create a compound sentence by combining the two simple sentences below the conjunction and or but example a david likes to swim david likes to hike so the answer over here when we join the sentence the full answer will be David likes to swim and he likes to hike ok, maksud kat sini David suka berenang dan dia juga suka mendaki so over here we use the conjunction and to combine the sentences so here is already considered as a compound sentence ok, so that is the example on how we want to write the compound sentence so number one let's see number one john likes video games john likes reading so how you want to combine these two sentence to make a compound sentence which conjunction that can be used to combine these two sentences so the correct answer will be john likes video games and reading Okay, so over here, we will use the conjunction and to combine these two sentences. So as you can see, these two sentences tells you same thing, same idea. So whenever the two sentences got same idea, we will use the conjunction and to combine the sentences. Okay, so you don't need to repeat the John likes. Okay, because over here also John likes, here also John likes. So, we will use it one time only. So, the full answer will be John likes video games and reading. Okay. Next one, number two. Stephen must study. Stephen will not pass the test. So, over here, these two sentences brings different idea. It is different idea so whenever the sentence got different idea you have to use the conjunction but okay remember whenever you want to use the conjunction but is for the different idea so the best answer for number two will be Stephen must study oh or he will not pass the test okay so we also can use the conjunction or instead of but okay depends on the sentence okay uh, so for this number two means that Stephen must study or he will not pass the test because he want to pass the test so he must study okay so over here we use the conjunction or to combine the two sentences to make it a compound sentence okay so next one number three Jill should show up on time Jill will not be able to enter so what conjunction over here that we can use to combine these two sentences so the full answer will be for number three is Jill should show up on time or he will not be able to enter Okay, so over here we use the conjunction or also. So it's mean over here that Jill uh, means that Jill kena datang pada tepat masa atau dia tidak boleh masuk. Okay, so that is the meaning for number three. Next one for number four. The boy plays basketball. The boy plays soccer. So, as for number 4, the conjunction that we will use will be the boy plays basketball and soccer. So, we use the conjunction and to, con to combine the two sentences to make it a compound sentence. So, over here, the boy, the boy, so there's no need for you to repeat the same things for the lines, okay? Because the boy, the boy is 
same thing so you just need to cut off one okay and you com use it the next one okay so the best will be the boy plays basketball and soccer okay there is for number four last one for number five for our ex first exercise my mom will sleep my mom will rest so over here my mom is the same subject so there's no need for you to repeat the same subject so we just use one times my mom only so the full answer for number five will be my mom will sleep and rest because over here is the same idea these two sentences bring same idea so we use the conjunction and to combine the sentences to make it compound sentence okay that is the exercise for our first ones so i hope you guys have the idea on how to combine the sentences to make it a compound sentence okay so next one we are going to look at the second exercise so our second exercise will be okay from here you need to combine the sentences in the box a with the sentences in the box b so we can use it the sentence okay and you can use the conjunction the basic one and but or so the example over here they given you the example jen went to the carnival but she didn't stay for long okay so they use the first sentence from the box a and then from the box b they use the answer she didn't stay for long so here they use the conjunction but to combine the two sentences okay so as for number one so next one the next sentence from the box a we will use jen wanted to ride the roller coaster so now we will choose the answer from the box b to combine it with the second sentence so the first one the full answer will be jen wanted to ride the roller coaster but she didn't have enough money Okay, so masuk ke sini Jen nak uh, naik roller coaster, tetapi dia tidak mempunyai duit yang cukup. So we use the conjunction but to combine it. Okay, and okay next one number two. So number two we will use the third sentence from the box A. Jen played arcade games. So the answer will be Jen played arcade games and she had a great time okay so over here i use the conjunction and to combine the same idea means jane uh, bermain game permainan dan dia seronok okay she had a great time maksudnya seronok have fun okay so there is for number two same idea use the conjunction and different idea will be use the conjunction but Next one, number three. Okay, number three, we will choose the fourth, uh, fourth sentence from the box A. Jen tried to win a stuffed bear. So now choose the answer from the box B. So number three will be Jen tried to win a stuffed bear, but she won a Cupid doll. Okay, so means that uh, Jen berusaha untuk memenang, memenangi uh, teddy bear tetapi dia dapat anak patung so instead of the same idea is different ideas over here so we use the conjunction but ok as number 4 number 4 ok we we'll see what that we can use for number 4 Jen started to get hungry so she bought a hot dog Okay, means over here that uh, Jen mula rasa lapar jadi dia beli hot dog. Okay, so we used I used the conjunction so over here to combine the two sentences. Okay, next one number five. Jen went to the carnival and she had a great time. Okay, so I reused the first sentence from the box A and I combined it with the same sentence from the box B so I use the conjunction and to combine the same 
ideas to make it a compound sentences okay and the last one for number six the full answer can be jen wanted to ride the roller coaster but it started to rain okay so uh, maksud kat sini jen nak menaiki roller coaster tetapi ia bermula hujan okay so but i use the conjunction but to combine the two different ideas okay so that's these are the some of the exercise some of the examples that i can share with you guys on how to combine the two sentences to make it a compound sentence okay so as for the conclusion the compound sentence means that you need to join two ideas in one sentence okay compound sentence mean joining two ideas in one sentence maksud dia compound sentence kita menghubungkan dua idea dalam satu ayat okay and then for the compound sentence we will use the coordinator fan voice it's not the necessary for you to use the fan voice okay there's a lot more coordinator or conjunction that can be used but these are the sum of the often used conjunction so it's easier for you to memorize it okay so you can memorize the fan voice okay and then over here so how you want to use it okay so we will use this always remember that we use the coordinator or conjunction to combine a sentence to make it a compound sentence okay kita gunakan kata hubung untuk menghubungkan dua ayat dalam untuk menghubungkan dua ayat untuk menjadikan dia satu ayat okay so instead of writing a simple sentence you can write the compound sentence in your ac okay so that's all for our today's lesson for the compound sentences and thank you so much for your time i will see you guys again in our next class have a great time thank you bye